Hello and welcome to the birthday gift. This message is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general read. It's not going to resonate with all of you, so you can check your other signs. If you feel like you need to reverse the roles, go ahead and do that, okay? All right, remember this is a timeless read, so it's for you whenever you reach it. We have the Five of Cups here. So something may not be turning out the way that you want it, but you got to understand there's a there's more going on than what meets the eye, Capricorn. Let me finish uh, shuffling here. Please give me a message for Capricorn. There's something you're not seeing. Uh, you're not seeing the positive in the situation, okay? Because your back is turned to these two cups that are still standing. You're focused on these three spilled uh, over. So you may be down in the dumps over something. But just know that there's more going on. There's actually going to be some good that comes out of this. And you should know that. Because you've already put in a lot of work and a lot of effort into this. This thing that you you seem to be disappointed thus far. Even though at the same time you know you're going to get what you deserve. I see you standing here waiting. You're waiting for your ships to come in. They come and they're pretty far, but it's there. And you know it's coming. Uh, some of you, you just want it. You want it now. Everything has its time. It's on its way. It's gonna be huge when it arrives. There's no need to be um, sad right now. There's still delays. There's a reason this is here. Okay. There's something you need to see in a different way. Capricorn, you know, let me pull another card. There's something you're not seeing. Oh, wow. Your overall energy. Look at this. Is the nine of cups. This is wish fulfillment. There's really no reason for you to be uh, worried. Yep, new beginnings coming. So your stability comes first. Okay, they're saying, find your footing. There's a delay with something. Uh, whatever you wanting, that comes after this. Tell me more about the hangman, please. Because the universe is giving you a new beginning. This is like career taking off. This is promotion. We have two cards that flipped way over here. There's uh, This is a new area of study. You're learning a new trade. Starting a new project. This is uh, whatever it is. It's going to bring you more of a... Your foundation will be more strong. More firm. Uh, you'll feel more secure. Okay, that sense of security. Uh, that comes first, then this. So that, that that's why. Ah, we have the Queen of Cups in the Hierophant, but they're in reverse. Some of y'all are, are in love here. Wanting a committed relationship. Upright, this is a person who's in love. Very emotional person in the reverse acting out of emotion the woe is me this is also the victim mentality this is also the emotional manipulator uh, a victim of everything and the this here the way this is is like you feel like things are not going in your way it's not happening how you want it to be this 
is imbalanced. This is a marriage. This is a committed relationship. This is um, not yet. Uh, you're going to have to take a look at your personal beliefs. You're going to have to uh, free yourself from certain be belief systems. <sighs> Literally, you're going to have to challenge the status quo in a bit here. Change your perspective. That's saying, man, uh, not everything needs to, uh, you don't need to make decisions on everything based on how you feel. That's just not realistic. Okay. Um, it's not going to help you overall. It may help you in certain circumstances, but overall, if you're always making decisions because you feel a certain way, you're going to have, you're going to have problems. Okay, sometimes you have to be objective. Remove yourself from a situation, look at it, and see, hey, look, uh, would I have made that decision if it wasn't me? Uh, sometimes we get so personal into things. Sometimes it's not personal. Capricorn. This is somebody who's grounded, st structured. The uh, universe is trying to give you that stability. So you can um, start making moves. There's a creative project at hand here, Capricorn. There's something you're doing already. You're probably already doing it. The, the fact that it's the page. Okay. So this is what needs to happen. There's something you may have wanted to give up on, but I don't see you giving up. I see you still holding on. But there's a lot of stresses here. Uh, there's a lot of like defensiveness. You're going to have to be resilient. Some of you are hesitant about something. Jeez. Happies. Tell me more, please. Ah. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. So you could be dealing with another Earth sign. This could also be you, your energy. Not wanting to give up. Knowing that you're going to uh, be at that state. Where you're, um, everything you worked on, it comes into fruition. You see, you're unyielding here. This is working really hard because uh, this here that was offered to you by the universe, I see that you took it. So now you're nurturing it. You're focused on it. You're going to really, really take care of it. That's why you're not giving up. Remain focused. Okay, because... You know that it's coming in. They're coming. Be patient, uh, Capricorn. Okay, we have uh, six of cups here. All right. Yeah, you guys are trying to fix something here. Could be with someone from the past. Someone's trying to fix something here. See, and the delays are concerning some kind of connection. 
because it's almost like get your house in order first. Get yourself in order. Learn to know what things to focus on. You know, pick your battles wisely. Because some of y'all, you need some fixing. There's, there's still some broken pieces here. Um... Please tell me more about the Six of Cups. Yeah, again. This is being offered to you by the universe. They're saying you need to, uh, before this, this thing from the past, this relationship, whatever it is, that delay, you're going to have to fix yourself first. You need to put yourself at a place where you're grounded and stable. Fix it, Capricorn. Uh, you need to fix it. So if you've been waiting for something, knowing it's coming in, you can feel it. Sometimes it gets close and then all of a sudden, bam, it feels far, far away. Uh, it's, it's because you're, you're um, it's like this imbalance here. Operating from an emotional space is detrimental to your uh your productivity, it really doesn't help things. There's a time to be emotional. Um, you have the Ace of Pentacles here twice. So this lets me know the opportunity to start brand new and get that strong foundation. Now, this could be within a relationship, but this is also within the home. That opportunity is here. The delays are over once you, uh, you need to be more well-rounded, okay? Uh, know when to react. Know how to react. Know when to act in a more pr pragmatic way versus a more... Uh, impulsive way, a more, uh, I guess you could say a more intuitive way versus a more emotional way. It's like, know how to ground yourself. That ends the cycle. That gets you moving to the next. Next step, we have the world. You're, you're literally at the end of this cycle, it's about to complete, okay? You definitely are holding on to something here. Some of yours are, are, are just focus on your money. This, I'm going to clarify it. Because this looks like you really are trying to protect yourself, protect your heart uh, from something. Tell me more, please. Why is the four of pinnacles here? <laughs> uh, change is needed. Change. The way you're doing things, it needs to go through a death. You need to let it die off. Transform it. Change how you're doing things. Watch how you spend, number one. But some of you are, are like, uh, you feel vulnerable. So you hold back. Uh, you, you, hmm. Please tell me more. The world. We have the Queen of Wands here. See, it's like there's a cycle ending with one energy, and there's another energy you're holding on to.
Okay. Uh, this here, because you got three queens that showed up here. We got the queen of pentacles. Queen of wands. Queen of cups is here. But this is more of an energy. This queen of cups energy. Some of you could have just left some kind of relationship that had you in a very emotional state. And that was your delay. That was why things felt stalled. There's some kind of marriage or committed relationship you just left that left you very emotional. Okay. Uh, now you're finding your groundedness. You're, you're now feeling more balanced, more structured. Okay. You're holding on to that energy because that, that's your safe place. This is you. Okay. Uh, this is you. This could be someone you're dealing with. You may have somebody who keeps you grounded or your connection with them keeps you grounded. Uh, so you hold on to that. Ending a cycle with another energy here. Queen of Wands. This is that impulsive, very assertive, you know, energy. Goes for it. It's driven. Okay. All right. Um, there's just changes happening here. Some of you may be aware of it. You may not. But there's a light at the end of this. It's just, it does require you. You're going to have to know how to know where to funnel your energy, when to use certain energies, when it's productive, when it's not. I'm going to pull a soul to soul message. This, these are available on my website. These are just messages from you and the person you're dealing with. Things that you may not be able to articulate. We have two cards that fell here. Oh, all right. So we will meet again. So see you soon. So if you're in separation, it looks like this reconciliation is going to happen. Yeah, your person, they're, they, they're coming back. It was healing for me when you finally stood up for yourself. Some of you, you just had to stand up to something, to someone. Some of you were dealing with someone who had to stand up to a certain energy. That's probably this energy here that they cut out. Uh, it really showed them or showed you that this person was driven. That they were able to assert themselves. You know. That ended that cycle that somewhat healed things within the connection. Okay, I'm going to extend on this to see what the next cards are. See what's coming up next here. Because we have um, we have things coming in. Stability. It's just a change of perspective is needed. Please give me a message for Capricorn. All right. Ah, within the next few weeks. <laughs> so expect to change. Expect to see some change within the next few weeks. Things are going to start happening for y'all. That's actually good because I, I honestly feel like that positive change you're looking for is near. Uh, some of you were going through the transformation here. You were. So let's, um, I'm going to go ahead and extend on this. Death card, that's the Scorpio card. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Uh, okay, so the link is down below. 
And I'm going to leave it there. Uh, I really hope this is helpful. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Wow. It says we're finally completing it. I think you guys are about to get it. You're going to get it. We're finally completing the lesson. I think you're finally going to do it. Because this has been a long time coming. Tell me more. Please give me a message for Capricorn. All right. We got a message there. We have a message. Wow.